This is the fourth part of my tutorial series on how to create a GTA clone for mobile in Unity. So in this episode uh, we will do the basic initial scene setup and I will show you how you can um, export all the animations from Mixamo and import them into Unity. If you want to skip the first part, I will put you all the time codes in the descriptions. The first thing I will do is just um, download some package packages. I go to Windows Package Manager, click on all and I will download the following packages. Just post processing, the render pipeline light, the pro builder and pro grids and shader graph. And this is what it should look like. So everything should be listed here. Uh, some parts are still in preview, but I guess in the next uh, few weeks or months they will go into a stable released version. Next we will right click our assets, go to create and rendering light white pipeline asset. Just call it render pipeline and we go to edit project settings graphics and drag and drop the setting to the scriptable render pipeline setting. Then we go to our main camera, allow HDR, we uncheck this, we set the depth to zero, rendering lighting settings, and we set the lighting mode to subtractive, and I think that's it. We rename our theme, so instead of sample scene, we just call it main. And in our main scene, we create a game object. For the start, just an empty plane. And the size should be 10 times 10 times 10. And the position on 0, 0, 0. So in our radar pipeline itself, uh, we disallow HDR, anti aliasing. We disable this. And I think that's it. Maybe the. Headless resolution we will lower, set this lower to 1024. Um, so what I do here is generally is just reduce the uh, graphic settings because we are on mobile. Um, it's not that good to have such a high fidelity graphics there um, because then the frame rate is too low. Uh, you can play around with this as soon as the game is ready then you can try to re-enable those things. So how to import all the animations from Mixamo? Uh, I created an empty object or empty folder called player. Uh, at Mixamo itself, I just choose my animation and say download. So the format should be FBX for Unity with skin, uh, 24 frames per second should be enough and keyframe reduction uniform and then just download it. And the download is not a zip file or anything like that, it's just the plain basic FBX. Uh, and the thing is called character add the animation name. And you repeat that for every animation you need. So I downloaded an idle animation, a running animation and a walking animation. And it's time for the animation controller because this will just specify how all of these work together. I create a new state from blend tree. So let's call this um, main. Get into it, look at the blend tree. We will add some motion fields to it. And then we just drag and drop these animations like the idle animation warning animation and the walking animation directly to the splint tree. And we will call this variable that was created speed. So based on the speed, um, the animation should change. You should order the animations like that, idle, walking, running, give them a threshold of 0, 0 0.5 and 1. And you can increase and decrease the speed and you will see that the character will start running. I also copied the original character and its textures directly into Unity. Uh, now I can take the idle animation, place it anywhere around the world, um, just set the controller 
and then I can open this up and set all the materials. Therefore I open up the character, the original one, so um, there I can see a lot of different materials that I can use, for example the suit material and I can just um, drag and drop these materials to the character and then we can see okay all the textures are in place and our character is ready to go. Um, the animation controller is there so we can just start with some basic animation. So one last thing, uh, make sure to go to all the animations and check in the animation tab that you checked the loop time. Um, so the animation will be looped. And this is our final result. I will leave everything like that. I will commit the changes into the repository. You can find the link to GitHub down in the description. You can update to the third commit and there you should find everything including the Unity project.